What is up, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics, and I'm back with another banger. Should the Buffalo Bills trade for Antonio Brown? Let's get right into it. So to put it short and sweet, absolutely they should. Why? Well, let's break down Antonio Brown for a second. He's 30 years old, he's 180 pounds, and he's 5'10". Last season, he had 104 receptions for 1,297 yards and 15 touchdowns. And also to note, he was splitting reps with Juju Smith-Schuster, a very, very good young wide receiver down in uh, Pittsburgh as well. Now, if the Bills did decide to trade for a guy like Antonio Brown, they would probably have to give up around probably a second round pick, uh, in my opinion. I don't see them giving up anything more, and I don't think... I don't think the Steelers will accept anything less. I think a, a second round pick is uh, fair considering he's been a very good receiver for multiple years with Pittsburgh and he's just a flat out baller. There's nothing else to say. And also, you can't sit there watching this video and tell me that the Buffalo Bills don't need a wide receiver one. It is so clear that they do need a wide receiver one. Now, something else I want to look at is Josh Allen versus Ben Roethlisberger. Think about the mentalities of these two guys. Josh Allen kind of is like Tom Brady. He's a very fiery guy, and he wants to kind of ignite his team and, and get everybody going, and he's all hyped up and want to win. And Big Ben, on the other hand, is just kind of like a drama queen. It, it, feels, like, it feels like he kind of is that kind of guy where he's just kind of not such a team player, I guess. I don't know what else to say, uh, but I think that he's just, he's just not that that, you know, he's not like Josh Allen. Like Josh Allen is totally different uh, when the mentalities come together and you look at the differences. Next up, look at the mobility of those quarterbacks. Josh Allen has, is a dual threat. You've seen it. I've seen it. Josh Allen commands the respect uh, of the defense from the deep ball that he throws, plus the running game that he has. His, he's got some wheels, man, and he shows it every game, and he makes guys like Kiko Alonso, you know, aka dirty-ass player, uh, look really uh, look really stupid at times and if you think about it look at a guy like Antonio Brown in that offense look at the development of Josh Allen you know if, if Antonio Brown was on the team you know having a guy that demands the respect of the defense in Antonio Brown maybe like a double coverage that might open up uh, lanes for Josh Allen to run other wide receivers to be open and the development of Josh Allen will will just continue to to progress in my opinion. So getting a guy like that who's a proven wide receiver, it just makes total sense. Another thing that I want to talk about is the playoffs. Playoffs for next season. We went 6-10 and 10 this season and looked horrible in, mo in some of the games that we were in. Now think about it. If we were to fix that offensive line, maybe get another rookie wide receiver, get a guy like Antonio Brown, fix that run game, maybe get another tight end or so, maybe another big guy or whatever. Look at that offense. You got a guy like Antonio Brown, a rookie, Zay, Foster, Isaiah McKenzie. Then you got, then you maybe got Duke Williams if he works out too. We just picked up Duke Williams from the CFL, so he might be something special. Who knows? And then if you fix that run game, like I said, uh, at that offensive line, if you can protect Allen in the passing game with some better players and you're able to get some better run blocking, maybe Shady has a big year over a thousand yards in 2019. Now think about that for a second. That offense paired with an elite defense from last year, you can't tell me they wouldn't make the playoffs. I mean, seriously, think about it for a second. You know, obviously it depends on all the on, on their opponents and if their opponents are better than them and they're gonna still grow, but I think that they have a very good chance at making the playoffs when you look at, you know, they at least have a chance. I mean, they're not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say that they will, but they have a chance if they have that offense paired with that defense and everything is clicking and they got that culture going that Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean have been preaching about. If they got that going, 
there is no stopping them. It's just a snowball effect, and it's just going all the way downhill, and at the bottom of the hill is the whole AFC. That's all I gotta say. If, if they can make the right moves, the staff can make the right moves, we're coming, and it's gonna be very fun to see. Antonio Brown also has three years left on his contract, so we're not gonna just trade him and him say next year when his contract would be up, you know, if, if he had like one year left on his contract, and he can just say, oh, I'm out of here. I'm not gonna stay here. He's got three years left on his contract, so we would definitely get enough time with a good wide receiver that would help Josh Allen's development and maybe help us get to uh, the promised land. Now here's some of the cons about having a guy like Antonio Brown on your team. He's kind of a diva. He's not really much of a team first guy, but I think that can be corrected with a change of scenery and a different culture that's being built in Buffalo. Another thing is he's kind of expensive to trade for. A second round pick is a very young, promising prospect coming out of the draft if you don't spend it on Antonio Brown. So I see the argument there as well. Another thing is Antonio Brown takes up a lot of cap space and he has to be worth it. So I don't know, it's a very, very close thing. It could really help us, but it could also set us back a little bit if it doesn't work out. So, you know, it's it's an up and down thing, but the reason why I say yes is because I see the long-term benefit for Josh Allen. You know, some people might say, oh, we're only gonna have him for three years and he's gonna be out of here. That might be the case, but think about if that wide receiver can help Josh Allen become elite, that's worth it. That's worth the second round pick. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? That's what I have to say. So that's gonna pretty much do it for me, guys. But I also wanna give a big shout out to Kyle Williams. Amazing career, and he got selected for the Pro Bowl. Jarrell Casey's out, Kyle Williams in. So huge, I get to watch the Pro Bowl now and not be uh, disgusted. <laughs> so uh, I'm happy about that. But that's gonna pretty much do it for me, guys. So if you guys did like this video, please leave a like down below. Comment your opinions down below as well. And of course, subscribe for more amazing bills, coverage, news, content, etc. Uh, but with that being said, I will see you guys next time and go Bills. Peace.